CSI 2140 root mode function keys. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and in this video tutorial I will explain you in the root mode the function keys on the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. This is a home screen of the CSI machinery health analyzer. To start root mode go to F8 root and here you see a typical screen of the root mode. First thing to notice is that you see here ALT2. That means there are two pages with definitions, so when you toggle ALT, you jump between a lot of function keys. So in this video tutorial we will explain one by one all the function keys in those two screens. But prior to do that, let's first explain a little bit the information that you see here in front of you. In the root mode, the first information is here point number. In this example 7, that means in the root at this moment in time we are at point number 7. This is the name of the machine, the ID code of the machine, and here you see the description of the machine. In this case, vacuum pump 1. Here you see the ID code of the measurement point, and here you see the description of the measurement point. In this case, motor inboard horizontal. Here you see the overall value of the collected data. And here you also see the overall value of the previous measurement campaign. This is a status and the status is telling you if an alarm level is triggered or not. Here at the bottom you see the collected data. Now let's go over all the function keys that you have on the left and on the right side. First of all, F1 previous point or F7 next point is to navigate over the measurement points. So next points will bring me to the next point, previous point will bring me back to the previous point. So with those two functions you can navigate easily over all the different measurement points. F2 previous equipment or F8 next equipment has more or less the same functionality but now we will navigate at machine level and not measurement point level. So F8 next equipment will bring me immediately to the next equipment, F2 to the previous equipment. F3 equipment list will give you an overview of the route. So this route contains in total out of 70 points and 7 points are already measured so far. What are those 7 points measured so far? When I'm at machine number 1, I see here at the bottom the measurement points inside the machine. In front of those 7 points you see a check mark, that means that those points are already measured. If a machine is completely measured, you will see a check mark in front of the machine. With F8, F9 you can navigate between the machines and with 11, F12 you can navigate between the points. So now I've selected here machine 4, measurement point pump inboard vertical. If I now push activate point, I will jump inside the route immediately to this point. So now in the route I've jumped immediately to point number 50. Let's go back to the machine where we were. Okay. F9 start acquisition is to start data collection and this has the same functionality as the enter button on the analyzer. Notes. In the software you can pre-configure notes and those notes are stored inside groups. With F1 or F7 you can navigate between all the different groups that you have pre-configured in the software, for example groups about structural problems, about con general conditions. With F8, F9 you can navigate between the nodes and with F3 you can add a node to a measurement point. Later on when you dump the data to the software the nodes will be 
be transferred to the software as well. Inside one measurement point you can even add several nodes. Those pre-configured nodes are working very quick but if you are missing a certain node and you want to add your own personal node in the field you can go to use user defined nodes F2 create user node F1 and here you can add a node up to 32 characters next function is F10 field alert field alert let me explain the concept you have a root with for example 50 machines inside every machine you have an average of 10 measurement points that means you have a total root of 500 points when you collect data in the field out of those 500 points maybe on three points you measure something urgently a big problem on a certain machine to make sure that you get high priority on those points Add a field alert label to it and later on in the software you can filter on field alert and make sure that you get your high priority first on those measurement points. Plot data F5 will show you the spectrum and the waveform but there will be a dedicated video tutorial about the functionalities in analyzing data. F11 few parameters he will display now a list of all the narrow bands that you have measured with their values and an indication if an alarm is triggered or not F6 is a function that is still under development but this will allow you to listen to your waveform run analyze F12 brings you to the analyze application and here you have the option to collect additional data with a different setup for example more resolution lines or a different fmax all those analyzed data will be now stored inside the root mode there will be separate dedicated video tutorials about all the applications here so we have finished now with the uh, function keys on the ALT1 screen. Let's move on to the ALT2 screen. ALT2 screen, F1 user setup. Here you configure more or less what you want to see and how you want to see the data during data collection and after data collection. We start with F2, select data display and I will show you the outcome of all the options here so let's start with none if I select for select data display none after collecting the data there is nothing displayed here S next option parameters so now after data collection I see here a list of the narrow bands with their alarms bar graphs labeled then you see the narrow bands as a bar graph plot with the labels or bar graph without labels so now there are no labels in the bar graph spectrum after data collection the spectrum is displayed here waveform after data collection the waveform is displayed here and last dual after data collection spectrum and waveform is displayed here point advanced mode f3 auto advanced is spat, set here to one second that means after data collection he will display the data for one second and then automatically jump to the next point in the route of course you can change it for example to four then the data collector will show this screen for four seconds before he will move on to the next screen if you put it here at zero the auto advanced mode is disabled and after data collection you have to go manually to the next point 
as 4 set HFD average. This is a number of high frequency domain averages that is specified here to 25 averages. Typically for high frequency energy users want to have a high number of averages because it's high energy data collection goes very fast and 25 averages is collected very very fast. F5 data storage mode there are three options here always override that means that if you have collected data however you want to retake data the original stored data will be overwritten query override then he will ask you should i delete the stored data and override it with new one or should i add it or save all data that means you have already collect data on the measurement point you start a second measurement and it will simply add it f6 percent of overlap overlapping for averages is set to a fixed number most typical number is 67 percent but you can change it to for example 50 percent select live display here you can choose what you want to see during data collection so you can toggle between status spectrum waveform or dual what is the difference here and here here you're specifying what you want to see after data collection here you specify what you want to see during data collection the overall measurement can be measured with several methods and the method that you prefer can be specified here so the options here are you can choose for analog overall digital overall true peak or average peak there are technical documents available that explains in detail what the difference is and it really depends on the application and the use which method you should use set integration mode can be set to time domain or frequency domain in this screen there are also two pages so let's move on to the next page and in the next page multi-channel group is enabled that means you will allow multi-channel measurements simultaneously so if you have two three or four channels simultaneously the data collector support that when you disable it if you have configured multi-channel points he will not measure them simultaneously group status timer is set to zero seconds that means after data collection of at least two group points he will show not a summary screen if you put here for example five seconds he will show a summary screen after measuring um, group points for alarm plots do you want to allow them yes or no also the warning level you can enable or disable the warning level override control f2 here you can specify or you can override the sensitivity of your sensors out of service this is a note to tell you that the machine is out of service and it will be stored in the database in tax setup you can configure your tachometer there is a dedicated video tutorial about how to configure tax in new rpm you can specify a new rpm for your measurement point there will be dedicated video tutorials about this screen as well exit route is to leave the route module clear data is to delete the data route management is to go to the route management where you can connect the data collector to load or dump the data or if you have multiple routes you can switch here between the multiple routes and activate a different route view 
view trend history when you select F10 view trend history you will see a trend plot and the trend plot can be up to the last 24 measurements where you see the overall the measurement of today and the historical last 23 data points next trend or previous trend you can even toggle between all your narrow bands this is an extremely strong analysis tool I give you one example on a certain point you measure a very high value then maybe it's very useful information in the field to know that this high value is new or maybe something that is already on the machine for the last two years if it's already for the last two years like that maybe you will act different than when the value is brand new so this is a strong analysis tool in the field print root report if you push here he will send the information that you see here in the screen as a kind of a PDF file to a computer and last more point info he will show you some detailed information about the point configuration for example here you will collect for this point a spectrum up to 60 orders with 1600 lines of resolution We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.